Hey, I'm Liz Johnson. I'm here with Peter Kelly in my Hi, kitchen. Hi, Liz. How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks for I'm coming good. over. I'm happy to be in anybody's kitchen but my own. Yeah, exactly. So we're doing um, holiday countdown, and today Peter's going to make for us um, a pork roast and some gingered sweet potatoes. A roast rack of pork and a Sorry. mousseline of sweet potato. Let's make it fancy. Exactly. The very first thing you want to do is you want to go to your butcher. And get your meat. And get your meat. This is a rack of pork from Berkshire pork. Berkshire pork is a, is a black pig and um, it's an heirloom varietal pig. This is the half that has the bone attached. These are the spare ribs actually, right? So it's, it's Frenched and what that means is, you know, this would be meat in here. So what they do is they, we, we just take the, the meat out of the middle to expose this bone. So it's a pretty presentation and that's what's called Frenching. Okay, so if you have to go to the supermarket and get pork, regular pork, not fancy Berkshire pork, you can. Right, you can. So the brine, you, so you have this basic uh, sweet seawater. Right. And then what I like to add to it is a little bit of star anise, which gives a sort of exotic flavor. I also put a, a dry Thai chili, so to give a little bit of spice. I add a drop of molasses and a little bit of soy sauce just to put a little bit more flavor in there. And a little fresh herb. So fresh thyme is best. I use thyme and sage in the brine for pork. Okay. Vanna, you want to bring that over yes. here? <laughs> All right, we can put it right here. All right. Okay. And you want nice to get this hot. pan nice and hot. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to sear it in. And you want that oil, you want to bring it till it's rippling. So... Gently. So now we've browned the one side, or seared the one side. And now we're going to add a little bit of herb to this. So these will roast right on here. And you'll you notice... You don't have to, don't have to cut them or anything. No. Okay. And then you'll notice also, I'm using a pan that's oven proof, but I can take the whole pan and put it right in the oven. Okay. Fewer okay. dishes, the better. Of course. But now we have the pork in the oven. Mm -hmm. We have our sweet potatoes boiling. So now we're going to get our cream ready to infuse the sweet potatoes with. Okay. So we're going to need a little garlic. A lot of garlic. I like a lot of garlic. It's the holidays. <laughs> you don't want that Aunt Mary well, yeah, kissing you. <laughs> exactly. We have, well, we only have people we love coming over, so it's all right. <laughs> now we need a little ginger. And you peeled that? This, um, yep, it's just peeled. So I put a couple of pats of butter in here. Just sweat, uh, let that melt. Check on our sweet potatoes. Melt the butter. We're going to add our garlic and ginger in here. Just together. One doesn't have to go before the other. Not together. Okay. It's fine. I smell that, right? You can, clearly, you can smell the ginger, the fragrancy of the ginger, and the pungency of the garlic. And that's two cups of cream that I'm doing there. Just mix it up. And we're going to reduce it. So this is reducing. It's we're boiling it to make get it a little bit thicker. The sauce, nice and tender. They're ready to go. Always taste, right? Always taste. This is a holiday. So we put it into a, a strainer. Here. And then you just kind of push it through here. Mmm. can really taste the ginger, too. Good. Nice. All right. So, All right. Liz, now remember, when we take this out, don't just grab that handle. Make sure. Ah! Exactly. <laughs> Be very careful. Uh, oh, my goodness. It's great, doesn't it? What are we going to drink with this? this let, what would you serve? There's, we have a couple things out here. They'll all work. I like Pinot because um, there's a lot of nuance to Pinot. 
And it, normally, uh, if you're drinking a, a, in particularly a New World style Pinot, um, from which either, is this? This is, this is Oregon, either Oregon or California. You can get this anywhere. Australia, and it's pretty inexpensive too. And this so first, which end is the good <clears throat> end and which end is the bad <laughs> end? <laughs> well, it depends on what you like, but this is the leaner end. This is uh, well, the more it, flavorful yeah. end. You can tell. Oh, that's beautiful. Now the bone also makes it easy to chop. Yeah, this so you just you're gonna slice right between the bones. Okay. Add a little bit of our mousseline. Now, if we wanted to put a third vegetable on here, we didn't we didn't make one today. If you want to do something that's real seasonal, right. what I would suggest is Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I'm in on that. So You're going to try it? Yeah, I'm going to try it. All right. Are you going to try it? I'll try it if I have to. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Really good. Great. Well, I hope you're going to make this over the holidays, Liz. Um, it, you know, I, I think we showed you it's easy enough to do. It's easy. So, and I know you're cooking for, for Christmas. So right, right. So here's the dish. Yeah. And you will give me credit, right? I will, I will. Because if you're not going to do that, you have to come to the restaurants. Okay. Let well, me cook, cook it well, for you there. Which one? You got Xavier's, you got Freelance, you got X2O, and... Restaurant X. Restaurant X, my favorite. All right. Okay. So we'll look forward to seeing you over the holidays. If we don't see you, have a wonderful holiday. Thank you, you too. Thanks. Okay, so I'm Liz Johnson. And I'm Peter Kelly. With your holiday countdown for lowhud.com.